So, next example. Oxygen is produced during photosynthesis. So, up to now, you have seen the experiment for carbon dioxide, water, Van Horn experiment, carbon dioxide is Benjar experiment, water is Van Helmont experiment, U size light, chlorophyll, size CO2 plus water is glucose. Plus water plus oxygen. So you have seen the carbon dioxide experiment, moles half mix experiment, water van Helmont experiment, light, the dark paper experiment, now presence of starch iodine experiment. Now we will see the oxygen is evolved. Oxygen is evolved during photosynthesis. So which gas is evolved during photosynthesis? whether it is oxygen or any other gas. So scientists have done several experiments. The previous experiment which the engine house did was the same experiment. He used a hydrilla plant. So that it is the same experiment where he proves that oxygen is liberated during photosynthesis and for liberation of oxygen energy is needed. That energy is got by the sunlight. Okay, so see, now let us see the experiment. Oxygen is produced during the photosynthesis. So, take, now you should take apparatus A. What is the aim of the experiment? To prove that oxygen is produced during the photosynthesis. What is the aim? Oxygen is produced during photosynthesis. Next, apparatus. What are the apparatus? Speaker, water, hydrilla plant, funnel, test tube, bubbles, uh, sorry, test tube. These are the apparatus. So, you can write beaker, funnel, test tube, water, hydrilla plant. So, these are the apparatus needed to do the experiment. These are the apparatus needed to do the experiment. Now, you should prepare two sets. Two sets of, uh, uh, two sets for this experiment. The so same, you should take two beakers, you should take two test tubes, two funnels, two hydrogen. Prepare two sets. So, in this, what is the experiment? Take a hydrilla plant and keep it in a funnel. All of you know the funnel. So this is our funnel. This is our funnel. So take one hydrilla plant, which is an aquatic plant. So take hydrilla plant and keep it in a funnel. And keep that funnel in a beaker containing water. Take a hydrilla plant, keep it in a funnel and keep that funnel in a beaker containing water. So then on that, on the stem of the funnel, this is our stem, the stem of the funnel. On the stem of the funnel, insert one test tube containing water. Insert one test tube containing water over the stem of the funnel. The water, the, the, the test tube should also contain water. The water should be definitely above the tip of the funnel. If you take the water in the test tube up to this mark, it will be wrong. So the water should be definitely above the tip of the funnel. You should take the water in the test tube so that it should be above the tip of the funnel. Now, same apparatus you will do. Next, uh, repeat the same apparatus. Keep one, one thing in the light and one thing in the dark. Keep one apparatus in the light, light area and set up another apparatus in the dark. Okay? Take one apparatus and keep it in the sunlight and take this apparatus and keep it in the dark room. So after some time, what you will observe is in this apparatus which are kept in the light, you will observe some bubbles in the 
funnel and the test tube also. You will observe the bubbles. Bubbles coming in the funnel and the test tube also. But when you see the apparatus which are kept in the dark, there are no bubbles. Here bubbles are not formed. So to test, so bubbles are formed. Means some gas is being released. So gas is being released from the plant. So what is that gas? You need to check. So remove the test tube very carefully and light a match stick. The match stick will burn into flames. So you will remove this test tube and light a match stick. If you light a match stick, it will burn into flames. Then if you do that, it is oxygen. In the presence of oxygen, the fire will uh, fire will grow more. Like the fire will burn more. It will take. It will burn. It will burn um, more, okay? It will burn, um, it will burn more, okay? Next, in this experiment, oxygen, so in this setup, oxygen is not evolved. So, the, there is no need for matchstick. So, you can prove that if the, uh, the matchstick is glowing more, then you prove that if the gas released is oxygen. So here there are some questions. Why you, you should definitely take a glass funnel? Why you take a glass funnel? Why you can't you can also take a plastic funnel? But why it is important to take a glass funnel? Because light can pass through the glass. Because glass is transparent. So light can pass through the glass. So you should definitely take a glass funnel. Then why are you using hydrilla plant? Why can't you use another plant? As hydrilla plant is aquatic plant, we can clearly observe the photosynthesis, oxygen evolution. If you, see, if you take another plant, it, that, will not that will also evolve, but it will not suit for this uh, experiment. If you take any aquatic plant, not only hydrilla, you can take any aquatic plant, so that oxygen, uh, so photosynthesis occurs and the oxygen evolved is seen clearly. That's why we prefer aquatic plants. So these bubbles are nothing but oxygen. So how do you test that this gas is oxygen? By burning a matchstick. If matchstick is glowing for more time or matchstick is burning for more time, then the gas produced is oxygen. Here, as there is no oxygen produced, if you put the matchstick, it, it immediately flame off. It will not burn. It will switch off. So, by this experiment, you will say that oxygen is produced during photosynthesis. This experiment is called as hydrilla experiment. Very important question for your four marks. See, again I will repeat, two sets this one. Okay, beaker this one, beaker lo water this one, okay, glass funnel this one, and lo, okay, aquatic plant, any aquatic plant, we are using hydrilla. Hydrilla pecta, that means a funnel with a okay, test tube this one. Test tube this one, that test tube is very important one, water should be above the tip, tip of the funnel. Water is can be unnan kundi, oxygen evolved by the money kanapar. So, so water manam tip of the funnel above is called compulsory. Next same apparatus salandi the upper chest tam. Okay, light lower tam. Okay, the dark lower tam. Okay, after two to three hours we will test. Light lower tam nam beaker lo bubbles are can pade. Ikkara can pade. So aim the bubbles something gas. So at the aim gas so and test cheta tam. Manu careful the test to be inward chest. So that means the match stick burn chest. Matchstick bother, chala se pelutu. Chala se pelutu nanti, that is nothing but oxygen gas. Ikkada, uh, so there is no bubbles. So there is no need of matchstick. We will make it to matchstick and then we ask for it. So we will make it to matchstick. Oxygen is the photosynthesis generally. Oxygen release it. That is seen as bubbles. So oxygen is released during photosynthesis. So this one and for that light is necessary. So hence prove that oxygen is released during photosynthesis. Thank you.